Hey guys, welcome to SK308. Alright, today what we're going to be doing is some more ballistics gel testing on uh, 308's two different calibers. So what we have here set up is our ballistics gel with our steel plate in it. So what we have is an eighth inch steel plate into the ballistics gel and we have 26 inches of ballistics gel set up here and we're going to try and shoot through it and try and capture some of the fragmentation of the bullets. Alright, so what we have set up here is the Mohs and the Guns. and the Steyr STG-58. So, the Mosin Nagant shoots a 7.62 by 54R, which is this bad boy right here. It's 148 grams. We'll be shooting a full metal jacket. The Steyr shoots a traditional 308, which is a 7.62 by 51 so the difference is the cartridge is about three millimeters bigger. As you can see, focus in there. Alright. We're gonna see what kind of damage each 308 round does through the steel plate and into the ballistics gels and see if we can catch some fragmentation. Alright, so we get all set up and ready to go. Let's put our eyes and ears on. We'll do first is the uh, Mose and the Guns. That was pretty cool. Alright. Check out the damage. Amazing. Wife's gonna kill me. The table got blown apart. I guess these things kind of happen, right? Sorry, Jen. <laughs> All right. So, pretty amazing. Mosin the gun. Seven six two by fifty four R. Through the ballistics gel. Through the steel plate. Back through this side and just tore it up. Pretty amazing. Just 
So as you can see in the movies, not work so well, right? When you shoot through steel. This is just cheap three eighth inch steel. It's not AR, not abrasion resistant. Look at that, if I can focus in nicely. Pretty interesting. Mosin the gun. Ballistics gel versus steel plate. And some more ballistics gel. Kept on humming. All right, so now we're gonna test the uh, style. Fortunately, we uh, had a little mishap. The uh, Mosin the guns went pretty nuts, and uh, as you can see, it ripped it all apart. So, basically I just, uh, I don't have another setup, so I just took the uh, steel plate and I tore this ballistic gel right down the middle. I took the steel plate and I just put it in between this front of this ballistic gel. So what I'm going to try and do is shoot through the ballistic gel into the steel plate with the styre and we'll see, what, uh, we'll see what happens from there. And then uh, hopefully we get some kind of uh, good feedback out of this, you know, Jeez. pretty nuts, so, alright, SK 308 762 by 51 through uh, ballistic gel steel plate. A little mishap. You know how it goes, right? <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Alright, so this is the aftermath. My wife's really gonna kill me now. Wow. Stopped it. That is crazy. Through the ballistics gel into the steel plate. That was a good shot. Right, let's see if we can catch some of the fragmentation of the bullets. Alright, let's pick up all these pieces. Back one. This is the one that very late went through. In here. In here. So it's pretty amazing. Here's a steel plate through the ballistics gel with the styre, through 13 inches of ballistics gel into a steel plate, and the steel plate stopped it. It's pretty amazing. But with a couple of inches into the ballistics gel, it punched right through it. So it's a pretty crazy test. Pretty amazing. I don't know. K 
didn't see no fragmentation of the bullets. Didn't really catch much. Probably just disintegrated. Good, you guys can see that dent, but that's a pretty decent dent right there. Wow. This is the Steyr, traditional 308, 762 by 51 millimeter. right through the ballistics gel like a pretty decent shot maybe a little bit low but came through here all the way through straight with right into the steel plate and it bent that steel plate right out the steel plate stopped it look at that Focus in here on the back of the ballistics. It looked like it just went right, exited right through here, and exited right through here into the steel plate. And look at that. So I guess in the movies, if it does penetrate roughly 13 inches, some kind of mass, and then into a steel plate, you might be safe, but I wouldn't count on it. So I guess you can kind of make yourself a bulletproof vest. Just gonna have to have a, a lot of gelatin all over yourself, covered by a steel plate, and you won't be able to walk. <laughs> Amazing. Focus on that. There we go. It's a regular full metal jacket. Let's see if I can get that. Look at that, huh? That definitely would have hurt. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Steyr, STG 58, Sturmgewehr, ballistics into a steel plate. If you guys can think of anything else uh, you'd like to see, me shoot through ballistics gel what you want me to put in the ballistics gel anything like that just let me know email me at sk308vids at gmail.com let me know don't forget subscribe to my channel at sk308 and uh, catch you next time thanks for watching have a good one